It feels very strange to be sitting here next to one of the best known works of modern fiction and one of the most epoch making in its original, very fragile form. Kafka's story, The Metamorphosis, is here in the school exercise book in quarter format, in which he originally wrote it in December 1912. How Kafka's manuscripts come to be in Oxford is also a strange story in itself. Kafka's friend Max Brault, who saved a large part of Kafka's writing against Kafka's own wishes, took a large body of Kafka's manuscripts with him on the last train to leave Prague before the Nazi invasion. As the train crossed the Czech frontier to the east, the German army had already invaded the country from the west and was the last train to get out. The party brought uh, and um, his wife and um, two families um, crossed the Black Sea and arrived eventually via Turkey in Palestine. In the 1960s, um, Kafka's, um, um, Kafka's great niece wanted the manuscripts to be kept in a safe place where the danger of war in the Middle East was threatening. At her wish, the Oxford scholar, Malcolm Paisley, took them first of all from a bank vault in Zurich to the Bodleian Library. And they've been there ever since, very carefully looked after. They're now in such a fragile state that um, only scholars with a serious need to examine the manuscript in the original form are allowed to look at them. For the rest, people are directed towards facsimiles. The Metamorphosis is one of the key works of modern literature because it's one which resists complete explanation. It's not a problem, it's not a riddle, you can never completely solve it. The first sentence, as Gregor Samsa awoke from uneasy dreams, he found himself transformed in his bed into a monstrous insect, is already enigmatic, the more so as insect is not quite Kafka's word. He used the word ungeziefer, which is a more general term, which could be translated pest or vermin. In other words, something nasty, but not specific, is denoted. Gregor has become a horrible thing. Part of the problem of the story is that Gregor doesn't realise for some time what has happened to him. He's a commercial traveller. He's supposed to catch a train early in the morning. He's horrified to see that he's overslept. And all he can think of is how to get to the station in time. The fact that he has to manoeuvre his heavy body out of bed, crawl on the floor, open the door with his jaws and so on, doesn't penetrate his consciousness. In other words, his human consciousness has been completely taken over by his role as a commercial traveller. The story is about much more. It's about conflict within the family. It's about a family struggle, which Gregor eventually loses out. And for Kafka, it was a puzzling story. He was very bad at interpreting his own works. He always professed not to have any idea what they meant. And the short answer is that this means a very great deal, but it has no one meaning. It centres on an immensely powerful image which can be resolved into a single message. The Kafka collection deserves to count among the Bodleian's treasures because it is the oeuvre of one of the greatest authors of modern European writing, and also because of the peculiar, adventurous way which arrived at Oxford, so far from the place, Prague, where it was written, and so far from the place, Palestine, now Israel, where for some time it was kept. The Metamorphosis is a landmark in modern writing. It stands, you could say, on the borderline between realism and expressionism. In other words, Kafka breaks the, with the convention that a literary text, a story, has to make complete sense on any kind of, uh, any kind of uh, literal level. You have to accept the, in, the image of the insect as it is. It's not a dream. It's not a fantasy. It's as real as everything else in the family flat. And the family deal with this insect as best they can. The family, um, their servant, the lodger with whom they're obliged to take in to make ends meet, 
Atta Grega can no longer support them, are all three-dimensional, quite humorous, e e even grotesque figures. Only the insect remains an insoluble puzzle. <laughs>